Good day and welcome to the news wrap up on Roma TV. I'm Naomi Oji. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuburatai, has said the Nigerian Army will continue to be ruthless with criminals. Buratai reiterated this when he visited the Army Super Camp 4, Pasakri, which is the operational base of the troops in the Northwest. He said the Army was ever determined to fish out and kill the bandits who have been terrorizing the people until the country is completely rid of banditry. According to him, from July 6 to September 12 this year, hundreds of bandits were neutralized, others arrested, while a large number of informants were also arrested from Castina, Socorro and Zamfara states under Operation Sahel Sanity. He urged residents not to relent in disclosing identities of criminals in their communities, insisting that this would assist in ensuring security in the country. A teacher in Ogun State, Matthew Adebayo, has been arrested by the police for allegedly defiling a candidate sitting the West African Senior School Certificate Examination at a private school where he teaches. We learned that Adebayo was arrested after the school proprietors reported the case at the Songo Ota police station. It was gathered that the 15-year-old boarding pupil reported Adebayo to the proprietress that Adebayo had sex with her on different occasions inside the classroom at night. The teacher reportedly called the girl into submission, threatening that she would fail the exams if she refused his sexual advances. On the international scene, Liberian President George Weir has declared rape a national emergency and has ordered new measures to tackle the problem after a recent spike of cases in the poor West African country. The move comes after thousands of Liberian protested rising incidents of rape in the capital Monrovia last month in a bid to draw attention to the country's alarming rate of sexual assault. Late on Friday, Weir said they would install a special prosecutor for rape in Liberia, as well as set up a national sex offender registry, a statement from his officer said. The government will also establish a so-called National Security Task Force on sexual and gender-based violence. On sports, PSG coach Thomas Tuchel has confirmed that Brazilian star Neymar is back in the Paris Saint-Germain squad for Sunday's League One match against Atrivers Marseille after serving a COVID-19 quarantine. Neymar tested positive for coronavirus in September 2, having contracted the virus holiday in Ibiza following the 1-0 loss from Bayern Munich in the Champions League final in Lipsen last month. The Brazilian, along with the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Angel Di Maria and Leandro Paradez, were quarantined, with Neymar making his return to training on Friday. On entertainment, popular Nigerian cross-dresser Daniel Anthony, aka J. Buji, has shared a cryptic post via his Insta story on Friday. The cross-dresser raised eyebrows as he poured out his feelings in the post. Jay Buji mentioned that being gay is not easy, even though he is good at hiding it and he is secretly fighting demons in his closet. In his words, he said, Being gay is not easy. We make it seem easy. We are good at hiding it. It is really difficult and we are fighting a lot of demons secretly and hold skeletons in our closets we don't want to face. I am just going to vent. Love you guys. Good night. End of quote. That's it for the news wrap up today. Join us next week Monday for more stories on the daily news. Check out our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, you can check out our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I'm now Mujin. Bye for now.